Thanks. You're a winner every time, Sean. You guys want an encore? Well, who am I to say no to all of you? Thanks. Already? Wait, that means school starts tomorrow. I figured if I didn't think about it, it would just go away. Don't make fun of me. You thought it, though. And don't deny it, I've known you too long for you to be able to lie to me anymore. Anyway, I gotta go find John. Sorry, I was afraid you were someone else asking for an autograph. I'm still not that popular. I doubt the whole school even knows who I am. Maybe I should go around with a hat and sunglasses to protect my identity. Not bad. I was late to my first class. I didn't actually know what it was. Hey, hey, in case you don't remember, I was putting on a concert last night in a city six hours away. Oh, I remember. I also remember that you fell asleep on the bus before the rest of us. Good for you. My professor decided to make an example out of me, so I had to stand in front of the class and explain why I slept in. I don't think he recognized me, so when I said I was putting on a concert, he didn't believe me. Then some girl pulled out her phone and showed him my sight, and the whole class kind of fell apart when they realized it was really me. Someone asked for an autograph, then someone else told me to sing, and a group of guys in the back started singing Late Sleeper, except the lyrics were changed to something about being Amish or something. I think Professor Kovald is gonna hate me for life. If I die in my sleep, you know what happened. I'm not trying. Anyway, how was your first day?
Oh man, this tour before school thing was probably a bad idea, huh? Same here. Shall we go together? Nah, morning classes only. John's idea. He said I should reserve the afternoons for work. That's his job, after all. Honey, I'm so sorry. Your father is in the emergency room right now. He collapsed at work. They don't know why yet, but... It's one test after another right now. Insurance only covers part of it, and he won't be able to work for a while. It's okay, honey. I can ask for extra hours at work. Maybe request holidays. No, no, you shouldn't. To be honest, I didn't even want to tell you. I was afraid you'd worry too much and you wouldn't be able to focus on your studies. I know. That's why I'm telling you. I will. Yes, you're right. Don't worry, Sean. We'll find a way to make it work. Just do your best, okay? I know, honey. I... I suppose I should let you go. I love you too, Sean. Sean! You're not gonna believe this! This girl actually got a tattoo of... Whoa. What's wrong? You're really gonna just lie like that? Tell me! What? Is he okay? Hey, you gonna buy that, or what? Huh? 
<sighs> Freshman. Oi, shut up, guy. She's got a lot on her mind right now. Uh-huh. They don't really pay me enough to care. Do they pay you to be a jerk, or are you always like this? I've got it. Must be nice having a sugar daddy. I'm really in the mood to punch something right now. What, I'm not allowed to have emotions about things? I can help, you know, with school expenses and stuff. Now's not really the time to be stubborn. I make plenty of money. Advisor? Oh, I guess I should schedule one of those meetings then. Ha, <laughs> advisable. Are you sure you'll be okay? Do you want me to come with you? Sure. Whatever you want. Whoa. What happened? And then? Is that all? That bad, huh? Does John know about you and crowds? Don't say that. You're the smartest person I know. So, about your dad. Good. It's been on my mind all day, you know. Your dad's a cool guy, and you're my best friend. Of course I'm gonna worry.
It's just nothing. I'm gonna worry about you whether you like it or not. How many years have we known each other? Exactly, so none of this don't worry about me nonsense. Anyway, it's go time. Wish me luck. You know it! I'm so tired, though. Do I really have to go to school tomorrow? Well, you should have stopped me. How? You're gonna make me stupid if you keep hitting me on the head like that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm already stupid. You didn't have to. I can see it in your eyes. I'm glad you're less worried. You were starting to get wrinkles. You definitely were. I said you were getting wrinkles, not anymore. No, I really don't think it does. Are we heading back to campus or what? You're wasting time, Sean. You know me. Come on, let's go back together. Morning, Sean. Wanna hang out? Neither have I. Wanna hang out? That bookstore we went to the other day is attached to a mall. Interested? School just started, and it's not holiday season yet. I figure traffic will be low. And I thought if we went together, it might be easier on you, since you'd be with someone you know. Then it's settled. Whoa, this place is huge! Everything is so shiny! This is going to be great!
Maybe she works out. It was worth a guess. So? No way! Are you Adam Eaton? Sure am. I am such a big fan. You know, I was following you on Spacebook long before you released Late Sleeper. <laughs> cool. I'm glad you like my stuff. I don't want to be too annoying or anything, but if I could get an autograph, that would totally make my life. Hey, could I get an autograph too? Hey. I thought I lost you. Where'd you go? Sorry about that. That was the opposite of what I wanted for today. I didn't think anyone would recognize me. I know. It's just weird, you know? It hasn't really fully set in yet. Sometimes when I wake up, I wonder why I can't hear the ocean. Then I remember that I'm not home anymore. I guess it's just something I'll have to get used to. Let's get back to exploring, yeah? Ready for what? Oh, that? It's not for half an hour. Okay, okay, we'll go now. You walk too fast, okay? We'll get there when we get there. There you are, what kept you? We're not late yet. Ready by three doesn't mean arrive at three. Studio time is expensive and the photographer is a busy man with a tight schedule. The lecture will have to wait, don't dally now. Why is he so uptight about this? He needs to relax. We got here on time, didn't we? Nothing bad's gonna happen. I don't see why. He's from an island too, isn't he? Fine, for John's sake. Let's not keep John and Mr. Photographer waiting any longer, yeah? Good of you to join us. Finally, I thought you'd be a no-show. Boy, I'm here already. Yelling isn't gonna get me here any sooner. I'm afraid you're definitely late. You weren't distracted by anything, were you? Got a little caught up in a game I was playing. Sean had to remind me it was time to go. 
she did. Not really. That's enough socializing, kids. Palm tree, go stand over there. Palm tree? You mean me? You're a tall, skinny thing with a bunch of leaves sticking out the top. Of course I mean you. Come on, palm tree. Where's that island charm I keep hearing about? Loosen up. I'm trying. Well, trying sure isn't getting you anywhere. I thought Hawaii was all about relaxing. And I thought being in the big city was all pollution and car accidents. Now that's just a lie. Although we do like to go out and mug each other just for fun. Too bad. We don't invite muggers to all the volcano luau's we have every day. Dale knows how to get a good shot in, photography-wise and other. Alright, take a break, get a drink, or do some stretches, or something. Sure thing, be back in a few. Poor kid. This industry is going to eat him alive. He'll learn. We all started out like that. Hey there, stranger. What brings you to this neck of the woods? More often than I'd like, school's really not my thing. Yeah, sure. No, but John does. I've got singing lessons, speech training, and even dance classes. My afternoons are swamped. I guess my dreams of a boring college life are over. Yeah, I didn't sign up to be a dancer. Yeah, yeah, I'm just being lazy. Anyway, if I'm ever free, I'll let you know and we can do something cool. Hey, Sean, what's going on? Sure, let's go. this? What guy? Matthew Midnight? And he's not just some model, Maddie's famous. I've never heard of him, but I don't really pay attention to stuff like that. But we get that a lot. You just look very comfortable with each other. Well, we did kind of grow up together. Oh, that totally makes sense. Well, it was nice meeting you. Wish I could stay in chat. 
maybe some other time. Yeah, maybe. Ha, <laughs> yeah. That was weird. Shall we continue shopping? Hey, what's up? Nice! This is perfect! Where did you get it? Okay... Okay then. Well, normally I'd say we'd take a walk to the seawall and just hang out while we watch the ocean, but that's kind of not an option. Sure, it's better than nothing. That much time has passed already? You've got to be kidding me. Adam, sing a song! Buy my album, and you can hear it as many times as you like. How'd they recognize me? They're like a gajillion feet away. This is weird. I didn't say you were wrong. I just didn't think it would be quite like this. I'll get used to it tomorrow. And I think that's enough exploring for now. I've got to go meet John for a thing anyway. I do my best. Who do... Sticking with the classics, I see. It's very... you. It means that it's unadorned, down-to-earth, and absolutely perfect. Well, I wouldn't know now, would I? You're covering your face. Do I look cool? You look cool too. Not as cool as me, of course, but close. Of course they do. My music inspires everyone. Ooh, I like that. That should be the title of my next album. So, shall we get going? I hate to disappoint you, but it's not really a ninja. Well, it's still cool. 
Hey, do you think we could get a picture together? Sure thing. Sorry about that. Yeah, but I still feel lousy. I feel like we can't go anywhere together anymore. I just heard someone call my name. I think they're coming this way. It's called hiding. It's worth a try. This is kind of fun, isn't it? It's like we're spies hiding or something. If not spies, then what? Secret lovers? Okay, I think it's safe. Let me borrow this. Well, yeah. I feel kind of like a jerk brushing off fans, but I really just want to spend tonight with you. If I wear this, no one will recognize me. You saw it. That's the most important part. Let's check out the rest of the fair. Whoa! Sean! Sean, 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 Sean! It's snowing! never seen snow before. Let's go outside! <laughs> this is fun. Enjoying the first snow of the year? How come it's melting? See how sunny it still is? The ground isn't cold enough for the snow to remain frozen. Don't worry, in a few days, the weather will have ideal conditions for the snow to stick. When the snow stays frozen on the ground and begins to pile up, we say it's sticking. You two have never seen snow before, have you? We've seen volcanic ash in the air. Does that count? Well, enjoy this as much as you can. Some of the students from up north probably don't think anything of it. Why? This is the most amazing thing ever! Just be careful. 
The roads can get dangerous once the snow begins to stick. You two take care. Hey, Sean, can we talk for a minute? What? So, the student council is holding a big winter holiday event this Thursday, and they want me to perform. Yeah, they had someone else lined up, but he cancelled. I'm the backup plan. Music is music. Doesn't really matter where I get to do it. Anyway, are you free? I need a makeup artist. Uh, but just so you know, it's going to be outdoors and like super crowded. Are you sure? Great, see you there. I can't believe we're getting a free Adam Eaton concert. I'm so glad my sister goes here. This is the best Christmas present ever. Sorry, didn't see you there. Oh, sorry about that. Hey, watch where you're going. Sean! Are you okay? Hey, it's okay. Please don't beat yourself up over it. Well, I mean, I kind of am, but it's over now. And it's not like yelling at you is gonna accomplish anything. I know you're serious about your job, and I know you did your best. Well, that much I can fix. Here. My 
hallmates get mad when I play too loud, so I'll have to be quiet. So think of this as a private concert. Pretty cool, huh? There's something amazing about being able to feel the music. Any requests from the audience? Oh, placing the decision in my hands. You're pretty trusting. I'm kind of an unreliable guy, you know. What? How'd you get this? I mean, this thing is expensive. You're amazing! This is so cool. Seriously, the best gift ever. I'll worry about it later. For now, let's just spend some time together. I got something for you, too. It's a book. It's a book of myths and fairy tales. I remember we'd read stuff like that all the time as kids. Anytime. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, what's going on over there? Well, there's a familiar face. How's it going? It's a living. Hmm. Best friend? The very best. That was my first guess, but you're more like... Actually, I don't think it's my place to say. This sort of thing has to happen on its own. What? It's nothing. Are you a student here? No, I'm not quite college age yet. Just getting in some practice. Whoa, that is so cool. Do it again. Sorry, no repeats. Magician's Code. I thought the Magician's Code was not to reveal your secrets. Well, that too. It's a very long code, with a lot to memorize. That sounds like work. That's because it is work. And speaking of work, I should really keep moving. See you around. Got practice today, but I'll see you around. Sean! No, I've been looking forward to it. Where's this mystery place you have in mind? Oh, yeah, that actually sounds really cool. Better. 
This place is really relaxing. Everything's so different, you know? This job is harder than I thought. School is harder than I thought. And I barely get to see you anymore. I didn't realize how much I've come to rely on you until all of this. Is that weird to say? Sean? Oh, thank God! So, uh... Wow, I don't know what to say. You're supposed to ask her to be your girlfriend. Will you be my girlfriend? Deal. Thank you. Hey, what you up to? Oh. Yeah, I know, but I'm totally stuck on mine. Sounds good to me. Let me go get my stuff. Sean, how's it going? Well, it's one of my rare days off. Did you have time to hang out? Here's fine. I just like being with you. Thanks for spending time with me. I enjoyed it. Later. I don't see why not. Other artists bring in friends and family all the time. Don't worry, this is different. Excellent! You're here on time! Don't look so surprised. I can be reliable and stuff. Sean, why are you here? Uh. Are you two dating? Sure are. Isn't it great? End it. Now. What's your problem, guy? It's not good for your public image. Says you. Haven't you dated a ton of actresses? Actresses, yes. Other members of the industry carefully selected for the greatest positive impact on public opinion. I could arrange for you to meet other singers. Maybe an up-and-coming actress. Feature her in a video. For real? You want to tell me where to be and how to dress? Fine, I get that. But you can't tell me who to date. If you're going to make me pick between this career and Sean, it's obviously Sean. Don't be daft. You're still a child. Your emotions are getting in the way of your good judgment. And I suppose your years of experience give you excellent judgment. Choose your next words carefully. You are on the brink of making a grave mistake. Fine. 
here are my words. I quit. Miss Gooden. I want you to talk some sense into Adam. How long have you known him? And in that time, how long has he loved music? Do you realize what he's doing? This job is his chance to spend the rest of his life creating music. He may think it's a good idea to quit now, but how about next year? Or ten years from now? Eventually, he'll grow to resent you for keeping him from his passion. Go talk to him. Convince him not to act so impulsively. You know he loves music. Do you really want to take that from him? I'll wait. What took you? You know, once you said something like, if only he were clean enough to spit upon. I'm inclined to agree with you. Like he knows what that is. What? I would never hate you. I'm gonna feel a lot worse giving you up to be with music. Music is my life, Sean. But what's the point if I can't share it with you? I don't know. Can't we just deal with this later? I'm pretty sure he won't be pleased no matter what we do. Besides, he wouldn't listen anyway. He probably thinks I'm being too rash. Fine, wait here. We've come to something resembling a resolution. This is stupid. The two of you may foster a relationship as long as you don't allow it to interfere with your work. Keep in mind that the public will not view your relationship favorably. Miss Gooden, I am not trying to deny you companionship. I simply worry that the public life is not suited for the two of you. Very well. I see you're determined to follow through with this, so there's little I can do. But my warning still holds. This must not interfere with your work. This goes for both of you. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Back to work. Don! Wanna hang out? Oh. Yeah, I should have guessed that. It happens. I'll see you later, I guess. Hey, Sean. Can we talk about something? Figures. It means you're always busy. Doesn't matter if it's work or homework or whatever. You'd be doing this even if you didn't have to. You were always studying back home. I'd rather we actually spend time together. I feel like I'm always less important than whatever work you've got. I try to spend time with you, and you just want to do homework. Even back home, it was always work first for you. The world's not going to fall apart if you take a break.
Is that it? You think I'm just irresponsible? And all the work I've done this year doesn't count for anything. I just wanted to hang out, but I can see you're busy, so I'll leave you alone. Oh, so now you've got time to talk? I thought you had your homework. Then we're even. I'll see you later. Uh, can I come in? Uh, about yesterday. I'm really sorry. Sean, I don't know how to handle this. I mean, I'm your boyfriend, yeah? But it feels like you care more about work than me. And I know it's super selfish of me to say this, but am I allowed to be at least a little bit selfish about you? I want to spend time with you. And call me a romantic, but I kind of had thoughts of hand-holding and dates, and I guess it feels like hardly anything has changed. And I totally admire that. That's why I'm not sure what to do. You're really great, you know that? You're really great, you know that? Anyway, I should probably let you get back to your work. That sounds perfect. Sean! I got you something for Valentine's Day! Hey! Uh... Kind of a long story. It's my first Valentine's Day having a girlfriend. Uh, you knew that part already. So I went around asking for advice. John said I should get you chocolate, Professor Meridia suggested flowers, and your parents reminded me you like stuffed animals. In the end, I figured I'd go with all of them, just in case. So, uh, I hope you like it. We'll see. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Sean, it's stucking! The snow, it's stucking! Sure. Come on, let's go outside! Say something serious like it's not good for me. I knew it. Yo! 
You're the best! This is so cool! Uh, literally. I'll just be a little longer. See you later. Just wanted to welcome you back. You've been working hard and you deserve to relax. Have you had anything to eat yet? Wrong answer! I got you dinner! It's a bento, the ultimate meal! Oh, but I wanted to. Because I'm the world's best boyfriend. But I really do worry about you. You overwork yourself and don't eat right. It's kind of scary to watch. I'm afraid you're gonna get sick or something. Sometimes you get so caught up in work and responsibility, you forget about yourself. It's not healthy. So if you're not gonna think about yourself, I will. And I guess I'm always going to be with you. Finish your food and go to bed. Good night, Sean. Knock. Now you tell me? Um, it's your birthday. Duh. Midnight, but it counts. No work, no school, it's your birthday, and we're celebrating. Here. No crowds, no eyes on you, just you. Oh, and your very handsome boyfriend. Sit down. I brought cake. Um, a bakery. I know sweets aren't exactly your thing, but I figured since it's your birthday and stuff, it would be okay. It'll ruin itself if we never eat it. All right, say ah. It's what couples do, right? Feed each other and be super cute? Normally, I suggest we do this in public to annoy everyone around us with our cuteness, but this will do for now.
Then don't keep me waiting. Ah. Uh... Why is this amazing? I didn't realize this would be so good. I should have gotten two. And thank you for having a birthday. Happy birthday, my love. Sorry to bother you at midnight, but I really wanted to be the first one to say it. Yes! And with that, I've got to get going. John's got all sorts of work lined up for me tomorrow, so I'm going to be gone most of the day. Sean, I'm glad I reached you. I can't get a hold of Adam. He isn't answering his mobile or returning my messages. I need to know the status of his next song. The demo is due soon. Oh? Did something happen? It's hardly nagging. This is literally his job. Don't cover for him, Sean. You know as well as I do that an attitude like that doesn't fit in a workplace like this. Please do. Yo, what's up? That's because there's nothing to say. What, so he can yell at me some more? Pass. I'm really tired. Not that kind of tired. I'm tired of writing music for other people. I'm tired of having to create something on someone else's schedule. I didn't know it would be this stressful. Deadlines, expectations, there's too much pressure. Music used to be my escape. Now it's my prison. Remember the time I went out swimming alone? It was like the most terrifying moment of my life. No matter how hard I tried, the land kept getting further and further away. And that's how I feel now. Except this time, there's no miracle fishing boat to bring me back home. Thanks. Having you around really helps, you know? And I know I can always rely on you. And I'm sorry you're going through all of this. I hope that you know you can rely on me too. You're right. I guess I should call John.
Whoa! Yeah, me too. Great minds think alike, right? Let me have my delusions. Right. So what exactly is all of this anyway? Ha, <laughs> clever. But setting up a pretty tent isn't enough to... Are those guitars? Nice one. What about electric guitars? Not here. But if you stop by our shop, we've got plenty. And we can always put in a special order. Would you be interested in looking at some of these others? For now, yeah. They said I could stop by the shop anytime I want to try out other ones. I know, right? Oh, check it out! How much? Five dollars for three shots! I'm gonna win that giant stuffed chicken, okay? No worries. No worries. The first one's just practice, right? No worries. The first one's just practice, right? Don't despair. You've got another one to go. I can dream, can't he? Knock him dead, Wahine. Nice eye, Missy. Pick your prize. Excellent choice, if I do say so myself. Enjoy your prize. Ah, no stuffed chicken. Why wait? Let's eat them now. Oh, there's a baking club. Bring back more cupcakes when you do. Not bad. He did admirably well, actually. But his throat has been taxed to its limit. I'm ordering a vocal rest for the next day. What? That means no speaking. But why? 
You risk vocal damage if you talk too much, so no talking at all. Starting now. Miss Gooden, I'm counting on you to make sure he doesn't speak. Surely you can handle that. I trust this has been an uneventful day. Very well. Your vocal rest is over for now. Yes! But you should still treat your throat with care. No excessive yelling or strain, understand? Got it. Hey, how do I look? That obvious, huh? This is the first time I'm gonna have to talk to fans, like, face to face. It's different when I'm on stage singing. What if I say something stupid to someone? Yeah, yeah, I know. Saying stupid things is inevitable. Don't get too excited. It's my one adult-like deed for the year. for moral support? Are you sure you can handle the crowds? I see. That wasn't a pineapple. There's my girl. 
I'm so proud of you. I knew you'd win. So, how does it feel to be a winner? Seriously, good work. You should be proud of yourself. Good! Anyway, I just wanted to tell you congratulations in person. And let you know I'm proud of you. See you around, winner! Help me set this up? You sure did! I wanted to put it to good use before I left, and I figure a public concert is the best way to go. It's only thanks to your generosity. Thanks for coming to my impromptu concert. I'm afraid I have to get going, but you guys all rock. Help me out. Thanks. No, I mean it. Thanks for everything. You've been really great to me, Sean. I hope you know that. Sweet! Anyway, I got some last minute things to do before I leave. Oh, hey! English homework is a drag. You said I could come over. Yeah, but I don't get it at all. It's just... words. Um, he kind of scares me. Hey, he's mean! Yes, please. What, my dear Lady Disdain, are you yet living? Yeah, nope, already lost.
than is courtesy a turncoat, but it is certain I am loved of all ladies, only you excepted, and I would, I could find in my heart that I had not a hard heart, for truly I love not. How long do I have to be patient? I still have no idea what's going on. I wonder that you will still be talking. Um, so she's surprised that he's still talking? Ouch. Okay, um, so then he responds by saying he's surprised that she's still alive. Because she's such a hater? Now he gets all defensive by saying that lots of chicks are into him, but he's never actually loved anyone. Double ouch. Hang on, do these two like each other or hate each other? I mean, is this like an actual fight or is it more like us? You know, how we always tease each other and stuff, but it's not for real. Hey, spoilers! You don't know I won't. Probably not. You didn't really answer my question, though. Are these two like us? These two are really going at it. How on earth do they wind up together? Ha! <laughs> I get it. They're like us because we're totally dating. Anyway, thanks for the help. I've got to go write that paper now. or play the guitar for an hour, and then write that paper. Will do. Knock knock. It goes. Just wondering if you've got a spare moment to hang next week. Since I'll be leaving for the tour Friday afternoon, was hoping we could hang out before then? Perfect. I'll see you then. Hey, sorry to bother you, but I'm kind of lonely right now. Do I ever want to do homework? Yeah, that sounds good to me. It always goes a lot smoother when you are around. That's the reading we're supposed to do. Together sounds great. Don't tempt me. By the way, thanks helping me out. I never would have made it through high school without your help. And now it seems like I have to rely on you again. I'm glad we're still together. Serious as ever. Let's do this. All right. Clothes, toothbrush, It 
it's my first time doing this on my own. I've got to make sure I don't mess up. I'm super serious now. About five seconds, it seems. I'm really going to miss you. I promise I'll return to you soon, my love. I'll do my best. I guess I should go now. Yeah. Wish me luck. Gone! Uh, I didn't want to miss your call. No worries. I'm on the bus. Miss you already. Like, a lot. I know! When was the last time this happened? Yeah... Oh! That's good! Um... Uh, I played a show last night. It went pretty good. Why is this so hard? completely different. I don't get to see your face or hold you or share something to eat. I don't like it. Yes, and I know it's good for me, but I still don't like it. I'm trying to actually be an adult here for once. Like, be responsible and stuff. You know, the thing you're always doing. I know, it sounds stupid when I say it out loud. Oh good, because I have no idea what I'm doing. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear that. Anyway, I got a jam. I'll talk to you later. Up next, we interview a young artist who's had a meteoric rise to fame in the past year. Please welcome Adam Eden! Adam, it's so good to have you on the show. Yeah, uh, thanks for asking me on. Now, your new album, Island Heart, just came out. Yes. And it's really different from your first one. Uh, yeah. So, uh, I don't know how many of you know this, but I'm originally from Hawaii. But this past year, I've been going to college in Steel City. It's been kind of a rough transition for me, you know? So I wound up writing a lot of music about home and adjusting to a new life and stuff. That's really exciting. Of course, I bought the album on day one, and I was amazed at how different some of it was. What is it like moving to the big city? What caught you off guard about it? Wow, uh, so much, you know? I know this is probably gonna sound silly, but it was my first time seeing a mall with two floors. I think everyone I worked with was like, oh, here comes that island boy again. Actually, my first month here, this photographer nicknamed me Palm Tree. Palm tree? That's perfect! Yeah, everyone else thought so too. And speaking of your time in Hawaii, we managed to get our hands on a photo. Oh no. Can we put the photo up? Is that you playing a ukulele? And who's the girl with you? Is she a friend of yours? Uh, yeah. That's my girlfriend, Sean. She's also my official makeup artist. 
Aw, childhood sweethearts. That's so cute. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'd call Sean cute. Ouch. Better hope she's not watching this right now. Oh, man. I didn't mean it like that. I meant more like Sean's really super serious and really mature about stuff. Even when I didn't want to, she made sure I worked hard and didn't crash and burn. She kept me in line the whole time and saved me from a lot of trouble. If it weren't for her, Island Heart wouldn't have happened. Nice save. Island Heart is out in stores now. Stay with us. We'll be right back after the break with the star of Moonlight Avenger. You really think so? I was so nervous. Oh, that's good. I didn't do too badly, did I? Oh, good. Well, I wish I could talk longer, but they're dragging me off to sign things. Love you! Hey there, stranger! Oh, Sean, I've missed you so much. Mind if we head back to my room? I'm beat. Pretty good, actually. The crowds were even bigger than last year, if you can believe that. Palm fronds. Are the fans really calling themselves that? Well, if you like it, then I guess it's okay. And what about you? Anyway, I feel like a jerk for cutting our reunion short, but I need sleep. Bad. You're welcome to stay if you want. I bet my bed's big enough for two. In the most literal sense, yes. Great. Woohoo! Done for the year. There's something about a year's space of time that makes you forget how horrible it is. Uh, Sean? Listen. When we were apart, I had a lot of time to think. How do you feel? Like, about a relationship? I mean, do you think we fit together or not? Like, I mean, we're definitely good friends. But I mean, like, romantically. Do you feel it's working for you? You know, John told me I should have written down what I wanted to say, but as usual, I didn't listen to him. Ah, I swear, this is the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Sean Gooden? Will you marry me? You know, all this time, I've been so scared that we were only dating because it was convenient. Like, 
maybe we were together because we didn't know anyone else. But these past months, I've been away from you for the first time I can even remember. And I hated it. Being away from you just made it so obvious how much I need you. I know I'm not the smartest guy out there, and I'm not always the most responsible, but please let me be the guy who gets to sing to you every day. Hey, this guy here just said I may kiss the bride. Is that okay with you? Sorry, kids. I distracted them for as long as I could. Escape Plan B. Looks like our ride's here. Are you ready?